Hello, thank you for your tuning into this week's reads. Um, this is James 13 Wicca on YouTube, just in case you're wondering where the video came from. The main part of the read, I'm going to use the Thelema Tarot. And where's the name? I thought there was a name for created on here. Just completely blanked. Renata Lechner. Uh, it's on here on this side, I believe. And if you want to find this deck, there's the website uh, loscarabo.com, L-O-S-C-A-R-A-B-E-O.com. Feel free to check that out if you're interested. For the tarot, for the oracle cards, magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish, illustrated by Jesse Reich, and at the bottom there, there's hayhouse.com. Feel free to check that out if you're interested. And I use dice. I use a 21-sided dice, which does omit the zero, but um, that's what I use for the major arcana. I use a 14-sided dice for the minor arcana and a four-sided dice to pick the suit. Um, I want to say that the bigger dice came in this, came with this. Tom Anders, uh, hopefully it's there. I want to say it's uh, impactminiatures.com. There's, there's this on the back, too, if that's easier for you, you to use. Feel free to use that. And for the smaller dice, the 14-sided one, it's Math Art Fun. If I can get this behind there. MathArtFun.com, if you're interested to find that. And the, the little pink one I use is, um, I think it's from Amazon. I've had it for years. All right, so that's what we have for that. Of course, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, james at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Uh, thank you for watching, and now on to your read. Hello, Cancer. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid, are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Cancer. All right, let's get them all out before we get too excited, right? That's it? That's it. Okay. Uh, let's do the oracle cards. Okay. Something is here. Oh, okay. So you got the lovers in abundance here. This doesn't have to be a romance thing. I feel like whatever we're dealing with, you've been working it out for a long time. Um, you're very self-sufficient in this subject. Could be work, could be other types of connections. Very self-sufficient. When you want something done, you're the one who gets it done. If, if you want to go somewhere, you're the one who plans it, that type of thing. And I feel like... When it comes to your happiness, you just keep making things happen that you want to happen. You just, you don't dwell on it too long. You're just like, I want that to happen, so I make it happen. But in, that's in this subject. So if this is work, personal life, whatever you got going on, if this is a certain um, certain club, not, I don't want to say club, or do I? I don't know. A certain organization you're connected with, which doesn't have to be a work thing, but could be like something, for some of you, non-for-profit maybe? This is something that when I want it to happen, I make it happen. Okay. Again, you've been putting a lot of work. You've been doing this a long time, balancing things out, making things work, the whole thing. Um, I feel like you've been fairly successful at it. Like when you want something to happen, I feel like a lot of times you get what you want. Probably not every time. So, and you don't overthink it. I got the hermit card reversed. You, you don't overthink it. And I think that might be the key to your success. When I just want it, I try to make it happen and I just keep going. Um, sometimes it works well. Sometimes it doesn't. There are people who kind of get in your way here and there. But there's a weird, a weird change coming forward. So whatever has been blocking you or like... Instead of you getting everything of what you want or most of what you want, you've gotten a fair amount, but maybe not as much as you would like. Whatever's been blocking you from doing that seems to be quietly getting out of your way. By quietly, quietly, 
it's just kind of like, for example, if it was if this was an organization and you're on a board, for example, maybe one person always has, has the contrary to whatever you want. They're always like, no, cancer, this is no, this is no for this cancer. No, Karen, wait, cancer wants that? Then it's a no. Um, <laughs> whoever that person is, it's almost like they're just not showing up anymore or all of a sudden they're just not getting in the way. They're not playing the contrary vote anymore. And you got success coming in from this person just quietly getting out of the way. Um, is this good for cancer? I mean, let's, is this good for cancer? Let's, let's just, is it? That dice rolls away. Okay. So we got the Hierophant upside down, which is like the lack of structure or somebody not honoring what they want. And then we got the Ace of Pentacles reversed. I, I, I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's for good reason, but I don't think it's going to cause you issue. It might be something... They might be going through something. They might be having an issue. They may not just have the ability to get in your way right now. Maybe there's too much going on in their lives. Is there anything that Cancer should do about this? I mean, we don't want to... We don't want to reinvigorate problems, do we? I mean, you got the swords and you got that ace of swords. Eh, they're saying eh, keep an eye on it. Uh, keep an eye on it, but just keep it to yourself if you notice is what they're saying. If you notice this happening, this isn't something for you to fix or even bring attention to, but make sure you're aware of it and just keep your eye on whatever's going there. I feel like without asking direct questions, you probably could figure out what's going on very well like a loose framework of like what's going on with this person or this situation that you don't have to be involved with. Don't ask too many questions. You can ask a little bit, keep it vague, and be careful where you ask if you want to know, and then just kind of keep a slight eye on it. It's not going to be a problem. Because something's getting out of your way, and I feel like when it's happening, I'm just kind of like, well, let me just hold here for a second and see what is that really about. Because I feel like it's literally getting out of your way and it's going to stay out of your way. Yeah, you got the Eight of Cups, um, which is like, it's not, it's like half in, half out. It's kind of like somebody moving on to something better and you kind of like changing how you're connected with this situation. When this first happens, I feel like I'm kind of like, oh, wait a minute, why is that happening? Um, I'm not really moving. I'm kind of like trying to understand like, wait a minute, this feels odd. This doesn't feel right. This seems off. And I feel like all they're saying to do is to just watch it, start move move forward in a, at a slower pace if you can, and just watch it kind of move forward. I feel like um, changes are going to keep happening, and I feel like as it keeps happening, um, you're going to find out what's really going on here. This situation is shaping up more the way that you would like it versus the way that it has been. Is there anything else I need to say with that? The rules are getting changed, but there are rules here, by the way. Like, we're changing the rules, but there are still going to be rules. I feel like that's what we're saying with the Hierophant. There are still rules, but it's almost like... Whatever the rules were before, they were more dependent on this other person, or this other person had a big hand in like developing those rules and holding two to those rules. New rules are coming in. You can have a lot of say in that. It's it's very it's very advised is that the way I should say that it's very advised that you are a part of those new rules make sure that you talk talk about things make sure you push forward your opinion even if it seems like well I don't know how to do that I don't know much about that push forward your two cents on like what you would like and like if it can't happen like ask them to explain to you why because when they explain to you why you're like well okay we can't do that and I understand what you just said but what you just said makes me feel like we could do it this way though and that is also good for me. So now that you explained a little bit more about it, all right, I can't have it the way I wanted it, but I could have it this way. Can we do it this way? And they're saying, make sure you keep talking. Make sure you keep communicating. There's a lot of communication needs to happen here. Well, it doesn't need to happen. If communication happens and you keep involved in it, going forward as these rules are reconstructed, I'm like, is they boundary? are they boundaries or rules? I mean, it's. I feel like I'm splitting hairs, but like, as these things are reconstructed, this can go more to your advantage. But the thing is, once they're in place, it's kind of like we're kind of stuck. 
it's not likely they're going to change. Could be still possible, but unlikely. Um, when this comes forward, there's a lot of healing for this situation. This situation not only can go better for you, but for others. Don't, I know this is going to sound bad, but don't worry about others as much as yourself. Worry about what you want. Other people will look out for themselves. You're not going to get exactly what you want, but go go the distance as far as you can to get it closer to what you want. So like from zero to 100, maybe before it was like 25, 30%, you were getting what you wanted. We can bump this up to 60 to 70% what you want. Will it be perfect? No, but is it is it better to have 60 to 70% of what you want versus like 25 to 30? Yeah, and don't worry. Other people will get what they want too. The people you care about, you'll look out for them too. You'll just naturally do it. I wouldn't worry about it. Don't don't let it stress you. The situation is going to kind of evolve and kind of mold as it needs to. Try not to get overstressed about it because there is big there are big changes coming. Like there's a whole new phase coming in with this world card. Just keep moving forward. You have the strength to do this. Just keep going with it. Let the situation grow. Let the situation go as it's going. It's kind of like a tree. Uh, like, I don't know what type of trees there are, but certain trees, if you prune them as they keep growing, you can get a very beautiful tree, a very bountiful tree. Sometimes some trees do better when you, you, know, you prune them back a bit. They get more full. They get more blossoms. They get more whatever. It, it, they, they do a lot better. Keep tending to the situation. Keep watching. It's going to take some time. Um, I shouldn't have put that down. I think that's the strength here. This is going to take some time for it to grow. So it's it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like having a child, not that you're going to have a child, but, you know, at first it takes a lot of care. The, the, the child takes a lot of care. And then as they get older and you teach them things and they learn things and you understand their personalities more, they become more self-sufficient and hopefully one day they look out for you the same. This is kind of like that. So it's, it's going to take some time. I'm not saying this is going to take years, but this may take some months, a few months, and it may feel like that type of thing for you. Are we good? Okay, we got more coming. We're almost there. The rules. If the rules are more to your benefit and you've you've said what you needed to say. How far are you gonna go? You're gonna roll off the table? I'm trying not to influence Oh, the magician. And the Knight of Swords. Okay, if you're if you're communicating and you're in that role, the longer you do it, the easier it's gonna be. So the longer you're you're holding to this, you're just you're gonna literally get used to it, and then you're just gonna start doing it without even thinking about it. It's gonna become old hat really quick, and it's gonna become you're gonna be surprised how easy this becomes because you just get used to doing it. You get used to talking to certain people. Once you start communicating and get those uh, uh, the rapport down with certain people, you have that that connection established. Like this is what I'm, I'm gonna be a part of this. The longer you do it, the easier it's gonna be. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but it's going to be easier, if that makes sense. You're going to have random things pop in the way. But I get like I get the magician coming in with the, the knight of swords. Things will be there'll be issues here, but if you're already in practice and you're already in the situation, you just got to keep that strength up where you keep communicating. Again, once you're there, it's easy to keep it. Um, I'm going to use I'm going to use a workout analogy for this. Hopefully it doesn't all flat in my opinion when you're when you're when you got yourself up to a certain standard that you want like say you're used to walking two miles a day you're used to doing it when you're used to doing it it's easier to keep up with it versus like if you stop doing it for a couple months getting back into it all of a sudden now oh, your legs hurt when you do it you got used to the time you got used to this and that vice versa say you're running four miles a day when you're already in it it's easier to keep up with it and stay in it you stop doing it for a few months you have to slowly build yourself back up and get used to the thing again get used to like things and move things together you know get your life together where you want it this is this is kind of like the four mile run in my opinion once you're up there once you're used to doing it it's easier to stay doing it it's just keep yourself connected there will be random things that pop into this situation but if you stay in communication you keep that going even when it seems like well i guess everything's fine i guess i don't need to communicate anymore no you do need to communicate keep 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 going keep those connections keep those established relationships strong and then when things pop up since you're already in that er energy you just say hey this is what i'd like i saw this random thing happen this is how i'd like that to work out it's closer to what i'm used to it's closer to what makes sense for me now that this random thing happened can we do it this way 
since you're already in tandem and you're already having those established relationships, you can have them work to your benefit a lot easier. And it's not as hard as you would think. I feel like especially when you're up to speed, it's really not that hard for you. It's just keeping up with the momentum. I showed this one. I think I did the success. You got the possibility for a lot of success here. Somebody else gets out of your way and this can go more to your liking. Um, I don't know if I said it right, but I hope it doesn't sound very labored because I feel like when you get down the road, it doesn't feel very labored. It just feels like I just got to keep up with it. And once you keep up with it, it just doesn't seem that difficult once you're used to it and once you keep up with it. Hopefully that's helpful. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.